Rejected a girl for how she dressed and now my girl best friend is mad at me for the reason. I 21M girl best friend, Olivia, 21F girl who asked me out, Mia, 21F. I am friendly with Mia, she knows I am single and knows about how Olivia is just a friend. So I was out with Olivia and we were eating, and then Mia shows up. She asked me out but I said no, we laughed about it and well she left. It was all good. Olivia was however surprised, she said she seen me glancing at Mia sometimes and why on earth would I ever reject her. I laughed and she said come on tell me and I said it was because of the way she dressed. Mia doesn't know this is the reason. TBH I don't like the way she dresses. I think Mia is very hot but I just don't want to date her. She showed up to us wearing almost just a BR kind of top and really short shorts, which to be honest I don't really like in a GF. I've never treated any of the women who dress like this badly but however I just don't want someone who dresses like that as my GF. I've never polleated what people wear. She said I was being pretty weird and I shouldn't body shame people for what they wear. In my opinion I did not do that. I didn't body shame her. I just rejected her. I am all for body positivity but I just don't think that body positivity means covering nothing but the privates and to the people who think so, I've never said anything against them. I've never said stuff like, she was asking for it because she dressed that way. I've always been respectful. Never said stuff like, she's a wh re, if a girl dresses revealingly. I don't go around telling people that what they wear is wrong and I don't say that they should cover up. And the more skin a girl shows, the less attracted I am to her because well I've already seen everything. I prefer t-shirts, shirts and jeans, normal length shorts, sundresses on women. I just didn't think wanting a woman who has a dressing sense I like would be a big deal. We spent the evening arguing about it I am just not very attracted to people who show almost everything, in the long run, attracted to them for a short time. And I want to be with someone who I'd still like. P.S. Me and Olivia discuss everything openly and don't make shit excuses and lie to each other even about small things. So P.L.S. don't give me the, what I should have done, lied. The 100% honesty thing is just with Olivia. I don't talk this freely to other PPL. This happened a few days ago so and I thought it would be over by now, but well it's not. So I just need advice on how to approach this subject with her. I think it's fine to have preference even when it come to something dumb as clothes. I despise man who wear Adidas. Or any other sports wear all the time and would never date them. Cuz no, you can't wear RFC King Adidas in a fancy restaurant. Don't even try to PLS. But I've seen it happen. You're allowed to have preferences. Equally, Olivia is allowed to be repulsed by the thinking that underlies your preferences. If you want to have a relationship with Olivia where you tell her everything, then you have to accept the risk that sometimes she will be grossed out or upset by the things you share with her. Part of growing up is learning discretion and moderation in all things, including, being honest and open. It sounds like you are still figuring that out to an extent and that's okay. Olivia really did not need to know about why you rejected Mia. Especially since she knows Mia personally. It just puts everyone in an awkward position. This situation is an example of one where discretion would have been a better approach than no holds barred honesty. You know er not wrong lol it's er preference just like Olivia can think it's weird. It does strike me as a pretty bizarre reason not to date someone, to be honest. That said, you're allowed to not date someone for any reason whatsoever, bizarre or not. Still, I can understand why your female friend was weirded out. Maybe just apologize and say that you fixated on her clothes but that it was, other plausible reason, why you didn't want to date her. People are allowed to have preferences but sometimes it's good to think about where said individual preferences stem from. So for example the argument in the comments about how sometimes short men have trouble getting dates, yes that's a preference. But those preferences generally stems from problematic Western beauty standards and the misogynistic idea that men should be big tall strong protectors and women dainty dolls. You're allowed to have your preferences. Everyone does. Dot. I think Mia is very hot. Dot. And the more skin a girl shows, the less attracted I am to her. Dot. These two statements are a bit contradictory though. Just saying. A. You have standards, preferences. Nothing to be ashamed of. I wouldn't date a woman who walked around in public in her underwear, either. If someone has a problem with that, tough crap for them. You don't have to apologize or give justification to anyone you don't owe anyone anything. You weren't nasty to the girl, you simply weren't attracted to her because of her dressing style. End of discussion. Don't overthink it. 
You can date or not date whoever you want. Your preferences are your preferences. If I didn't like the way she dressed too I would have rejected her. I am sure if a woman didn't like the way you dress too she'd reject you too. You did the right thing on following your heart. It's better to reject her now and not reject her later in a relationship. My 30F husband 38M pinned me down until I agreed to give him HJ. I feel really stupid typing this but it's been on my mind. I'm not a stupid woman. I have a career and am generally independent. We have been married for 7 years, together for 10 years and have two young kids ages 3 and 10 months. Lately we have not been getting along at all. Our relationship is very tense. He hasn't been very nice to me and so we have just been sort of coexisting and not really talking a lot. We just work, take care of the kids and go on like that. We sleep in separate rooms now because he snores at night and it keeps me up, so I sleep in with the baby, he refuses to get a sleep apnea vow. Usually by the end of the day I'm just totally exhausted and ready for bed. I have no desire to do anything sexual especially because like I said my husband isn't even nice to me. I dk why it's so hard for him to believe I am not sexually attracted to him right now. Literally the only time he wants to hang out with me I know that it means he wants sex. He doesn't want to just cuddle or watch a movie ever. If he says hey hang out with me I know what it means. One night last week I was hanging out in his bed for a few minutes after the kids went to bed and I said okay I'm going to bed good night. He said wait don't go yet. And I responded I'm really not in the mood I am tired. He pinned me down physically and said no don't go yet don't go. I told him to let me go a few times and he finally did after about one minute. For whatever reason, after that I agreed to give him a HJ at his insistence. I left directly afterwards and now I'm just mad and the thought of doing anything sexual with him pisses me off. He says I'm overreacting and making a big deal and that he was just joking about pinning me down. I can't tell if I'm completely overreacting or not. Advice on how to move past this. TLDR husband pinned me down till I agreed to give him a HJ but now I'm pissed off and completely turned off by him. Edit thanks everyone for the support. To be honest I really hadn't considered it assault but yeah you guys are right. I also didn't word it right I guess. I never offered a hand job I agreed to it so he would let me go. After he let me go I could have just left the room so I'm just saying IDK why I didn't just do that. You have every right to be pissed. You were sexually assaulted. That is domestic violence. He assaulted you. What can we do to help you end this relationship? He isnt a safe person and he is not on your side. This is sexual assault. Please speak to a women's support group and get help. Yeah. Your husband sexually assaulted you and until he acknowledged that what he did was wrong and serious, it will be hard to move past this. Have a serious conversation with him again and use the word sexual assault because in his mind he was joking around. Why on earth are you still in the relationship? You sound miserable. I imagine you would be much happier if you split, and instead worked on having a healthy co-parent relationship. You are not overreacting at all. That is assault. I would not let it go. Couples therapy would be the bare minimum for fixing this in my book. If he is not interested, I would highly consider a separation while I considered divorce. Look up, fight, flight, freeze, fawn response. This explains, to some degree, why you felt you needed to do what he wanted. It's a response to abuse, and is absolutely not something you should feel any guilt over. You were doing what you felt you needed to do in the moment to be safe. I don't think he's safe for you and the kids to be around right now. Even if he never assaults you again, your kids are going to use your relationship as an example of how things should be. It doesn't sound like he's giving them a good example right now. And bottom line? You deserve better. You deserve a partner who is nice to you. That's the lowest rung of what you deserve. I think it's time to leave, he assaulted you. I, F33, was dating a guy for 10 weeks and he just ghosted me with no explanation. So I'm pretty new to the dating scene since a recent divorce. I finally got the courage to go on a date with a guy the first met on a dating app after messaging for 2-3 weeks. It was the best date ever and we both had the best time. We almost had sex but I was on my period but we made out in the car like teenagers for hours. The next 10 weeks ish we were texting every day and he was coming over every chance he could to have sex, 2x a week, and we went out on dates every couple weeks. I was pretty smitten with this guy and I let him know it. He made it clear he didn't want a relationship yet. Which I was okay with cause we were having a great time. 
Well about three weeks ago he brought me flowers to my house and we had great sex and we set up a date for the following week. The next week he barely texted me and when I asked him what we were doing on Friday he said, I'll just come in between times where you're not busy. I made it clear I cleared the evening to hang out with him. After this he never texted me back. Never showed up for our date. I text him asking what I did to deserve flowers one week and get ghosted the next. I still haven't heard a peep for him but he's still on my snap and Instagram. Like I mentioned earlier I'm new to dating. I didn't think ghosting after dating for 10 weeks was a thing. I'm pretty hurt cause I was so smitten and didn't really see it coming. I think I at least deserved a conversation, makes me feel like I'm crazy. Do you have any of the same experiences regarding ghosting? Is there anything blatantly obvious I'm missing? Too long did not read. New to dating. Was seeing a guy for about 10 weeks and he ghosted me suddenly with no explanation. Need help understanding why. Probably dealing with an ex or another girl or just became uninterested. Don't read into too much it's a reflection of him not you. Move on to the next. At the end of the day, there's a million possible, whys, he could be self-sabotaging, he could have lost interest, he could have been cheating with you and got caught, etc. But my guess is like you said, he didn't want a relationship. And you describing your time together sounds an awful lot like a relationship. So he broke it off in a really immature way. You sound like a very nice person. You will find a nice person soon. Good riddance to bad rubbish. Don't bother texting him anymore. He wanted sex, you gave sex, he bailed. I experienced a similar thing after a while. I learned I needed to stop beating myself up wondering why. The uncertainty and lack of closure is maddening, but eventually, it'll fade as you move on to better things. Also, you handled it a lot more maturely than I did. I kinda went overboard texting him. So embarrassing, so good for you. Is he active on his social media right now? Who knows why these things happen, it sucks for sure. The best thing I can tell you is that this isn't about you. You've done nothing wrong. Best to just move on. Don't contact him again cuz it will look like begging. Sounds like he was doing the dentist system. I went through the same thing. I have no tips. It just fucking sucks for a while and you get over it eventually. Found some questionable message on my boyfriend, 27, M, phone. I, 25, F, went on my boyfriend's, 27, M, phone. Mistake, I know, and I found a message he sent to his female classmate saying, hey we should hang out sometime. To which she responded saying yes they should. Nothing else came after. This particular classmate of his had expressed interest in him before we dated. He told me that he found her super attractive and that he could have hooked up with her but chose not to. She had said in previous messages how she was always trying to come on to him and wished it happened. I told him I found it disrespectful how he would initiate hanging out with her while we are together and she had expressed interest in the past, three months ago. He said that she's going into the marines and he was a marine and wanted to give her advice. He says if I can't accept that he's just a nice guy who wants to help people then we shouldn't be together. I also found another message between him and another girl classmate of his that happened about a week ago. She asked why he moved and he said, to live with a nurse. It's me. I'm, the nurse. He never even told this girl he's in a relationship. He says what he said is true that he does in fact live with a nurse. Be honest. Am I being played? Or could I just be thinking he has bad intentions when maybe he really is just a helpful person? Should I stand my ground? He is looking around for sure. It is hard to actually prove anything with what you have, but it is enough to warrant suspicion and concern. Plus his comment about, if you can't accept I am a nice guy, we should split, that sounds like total BS. He may be a nice guy, but you don't refer to your girlfriend as, a nurse, unless you don't want people to know that the nurse is your girlfriend. And, he knows this other woman is into him. He has expressed interest in her physically. That isn't innocent, especially if he didn't outright mention that he was going to help her out. He's definitely shopping. Edit. But he's not cheating yet. Not sure what a lot of these other commenters are on about. Literally the only reason he'd say, to live with a nurse, other than, live with my girlfriend, is if he wanted to hide the fact that he was in a relationship the former is so convoluted to say, and makes no sense unless the intent is to not reveal the nurse's identity. And it's one thing if the first classmate had messaged him asking for advice, but him reaching out to her after making it clear that he finds her super attractive and could have hooked up with her, makes it pretty evident that he's looking for options. This guy doesn't sound like he wants to be faithful to you. As well as the context in your other comments, this relationship sounds one-sided as fuck and you should leave it. 
He's definitely acting suspicious. You should ask him if you can tag along when he hangs out with that one classmate. Sounds like both. Sounds like he's a nice guy who doesn't know how to let women down. He may be oblivious to how it would look to you. He needs to grow a pair. At the same time, you have no direct evidence of infidelity. And you shouldn't be snooping on his phone. If you suspect something, ask him or leave. Privacy invasion is not cool. Nah he's being sketchy. He probably isn't cheating, you don't have any concrete evidence that way, but he's going out of his way to be ambiguous enough to give the impression he's single without ever overtly lying. He clearly doesn't have the will of confidence or desire to fully lie about you or his relationship, so I doubt he went as far to cheat, but he wants the door to to the possibility to remain open. What did he do that made you not trust him? Why did you go through his phone? If all you found was a single message then he seems pretty faithful. I wouldn't be comfortable with that. If he literally brought up breaking up over you telling that it would make you uncomfortable if he hung out with a girl who had s feelings for him, he can't think of the relationship that seriously.